Greetings and welcome back to Autonauts. I'm Degree, and today we'll continue building out our base and uh, getting more and more things automated. Um, wood is still lagging a bit behind but uh, hopefully it will start to catch up now that we have our tree farm working. So the first thing I want to do this episode is uh, move our cereal over to here and uh, the other thing I want to do is try and see if I can figure out uh, to hoe some soil, some soil even, and what difference that does in terms of these, since uh, that is something I haven't checked out yet. So first things first, let's just remove these few things that are stuck on the ground. Just kind of in our way everywhere. And we'll also have to start our science. Let's do that first. So let's see here. What kind of science do we have we can make? Cut grass, clay. We can start this one. Because we should have some of this lying around. Or else we can very, very easily get some. So let's just trick these into working. So let's take one of these. Let's place it here for now. Uh, we should get uh, this start to be hold. Or just get one ourselves and then we can do it. Because I just need one item. Please come to me. Let's see if we can't figure out how all of this is going to work. So please hold that one. Hopefully no one's going to come and beat it. Please pick one of those. And there we are. So let's just throw this into the machine and then we can get the research going again. Getting some more things done. There we are. So now to move it all over here. Take our little shovel. We seem to have them all over the place at the moment. So what if we just have it up here? I think that might be a good place to do it. But I still want to remove all of these that are in the way. Oh, one second too soon. Wow, that takes forever. Oh well, let's just move our... We should have them at the top. Or this one and that one please move you to just over here this will make uh, our farm please start there and then we'll get our little collector one move this one so that should get all the things we need the log one might actually be a good idea to move as well, since that one is just kinda stuck out here. Please remove these while you're at it. So as soon as all of this has been uh, dug up, we should be able to um, get some cereal right here. Let's just see. Take all of this up, please. Here we are. And... That is fine for now. So, let's pick up the fence we made last episode. I think we can use quite a few of them over here now. Just to mark out the area. And then we'll wait a little bit to uh, to do it again. And one thing you also should try to do is get uh, this bot thing up and running. A bit better than this. Because right now this one is just going times 6. And I kind of want these to go into a bot storage still instead. So I can just go over here and pick them up. I think that will be the best solution. Uh, yeah. 
So let's just mark out this area. Hopefully a charger is on the way to charge up the charger. So where will this be? Is it like right here? I think it might be. Let's just help this out a bit. Since both are charges kind of stop at the same time. So we might make we need to make patrolling charges at some point. There we are. Let's get a little fence down. I think it should be right here. Oh, right there. Yeah, it was one too far out. So let's just move it back a bit. And make all of this looks nice and tidy. So we have to move our planters and choppers and chests and whatnot over here. So we have to move all of this. And the storage is quite big. So um, I don't really know where to place it, to be honest. You can make a second storage area down here, but uh, we could also just have it inside the same uh, size right here. But let's just get all the dirt, all the turf removed first, and then we'll look at that afterwards. So science is going strong. That will be done very, very soon. And the rest of the base is working because of it. So what else can we make? Let's see, we got a ton of buildings. They are not needed for anything yet. Uh, oh yeah, the bot storage is what I want to try to do. So let's see if we can't change this to only fill, only do this if the bot storage is empty. And I kind of want to place it in here. And hopefully they get charged before, um, before they get put in. And I think they will. So let's see, if I do a butt storage right here in the middle, then we can just come here and pick it up, and I think that'll be fine. Then I'll just have to train one of you, let's say it's you, you'll be butt mover, butt mover, yeah, and you'll pick up one of these. Nearest ideal is not what I want. I want you to pick up. Let's put you down again. I want you to pick up the one in here. Yeah. And then put it into that one. And please do that until this one is full forever. So that should mean that uh, this will just keep going until this one is full. Could also have one, but then we'll have one extra stored, so I think this will be fine. And this one will then, instead of doing six times, we'll change you into until that one is full forever. So as soon as there's none standing there, it will start going again. And that's in the bot production area. So let's at least move some butts in here so we always have some stored up. Let's just move the other ones we have in here. So we don't kind of just take up space everywhere. And what are you? You are just a butt mover. So let's see if this won't automate itself now. That is at least the plan. So one came out. I see that's gonna get charged. Let's see if it's gonna get moved. It is, it's gonna wait until it's charged before it's moved. So that is exactly what I want. So now I have a place I can always go get some bots. And I always have 10 I can use for different things. So next thing I want to look at, this one is still going strong, but uh, that's the weed digger. That's not what I want, but I could actually just make a charger over here. But that's not what I want. Let's just check out a few of the buildings right now and see what new things we can make. And this one. Can we make anything new? Uh, we can make the 
Oh, we have the wheel, don't we? Oh, we have that one. We can make the wheel. That might be needed for the scooter. Not quite sure what that does. But I'm guessing some kind of movement speed for uh, me. I think that is the best uh, idea of what it does. So crude wheel, we might just set that up. That might be a need for other things as well. So let's move this to the crafting area. Let's move you over here, please. Just like that. Oh, and then we'll just take one butt. And luckily now we have them stored up. So I can just kind of pick one up and uh, go over here with it. Let's place you right here. And what I want you to do, you'll be, what's it called? Yeah, let's move it up and out. So, I want you to make crude wheel. Crude wheel production. And you'll be in the crafting area. And to do that, we'll need two planks. So please go over here and pick up two planks. Or pick up four at a time. Because then we'll do a bit more than uh, we need. So hands are full. Let's just take uh, one more. And then go over here and drop it off. And you'll do that until your hands are empty. And then, uh, yeah, you'll do it until this one is full. Empty. Until this one is full. Until yeah, that one full forever. And you'll have to go into the crafting area number two, I think it's called, the butt team. Crafting area number two, because number one is right next to this one. And number two is right over here. So that should just get this running. And we could actually try and make ourselves a little uh, wheel. I think that might, oh, not a wheel. But uh, what are they called? Uh, yeah, I've probably seen a crafting table. Ah, scooters, what they're calling it. So let's just try and make that. We can just do it right here. Shouldn't be too bad. Set one and get three poles. Two, three. Let's go over here. And one plank. And there we are. Then we should have a little scooter. I wonder if we can just stand on it. How does this work? Oh, that's oh, that's awesome. It just increases my movement speed that easy. So that is. Uh, that is very, actually very good, and so easy to do. So that's going to help us a lot in the future. I am not um, in denial about that. So this is still going. I kind of have to move this one in here. I think that will be... It will take up some of the farming space, but... Uh, it's either there or do it in storage storage area. That might be better, to be honest. So let's try and move this. So you'll have to move in here. Is that a good spot? I will do it here for now. And we'll have to move this one. You can be right next to it. There we are. So it's here for now, and then we can start to move the robots to the area over here instead. So let's see. We want to get you. Stop. You'll not do it here. You'll do it in this area instead. 
And luckily, we can always just expand the area if in case we need more. But that should be fine. Then we'll take the next one. The planter. We'll go to the same. Come here. My little robot. Right there. And then we have this one. Please just come this way. Ah. And then the last one we have should be or our oh, straw collector needs to move as well. There we are. And where is the last one? Because we do have a cereal production right here. Uh, you'll just be number one instead, because that's what I'm going to call the area. And the last one I'm missing is our little farmer one. And you're stuck there. That's fine. But I just want you to move somewhere else, please. And that is just over here. And all of it should work without any issues at the moment. Since it should just be planting, collecting from over here, then this one will come and chop them down and they'll just do the normal normal thing, just uh, not in the middle of nowhere. So that is looking very good. Um, we probably need to make a bigger tree farm at some point. And what I'm thinking is doing a 4x4 for the trees. Then we can always just add as many robots as is needed to that area. So first things first I need to do is get a new 4x4 area. And it might be all the way over here because we have this uh, stupid lake. Or we can do it... Now we have this lakes right in the middle. A bit annoying, but uh, that's the way it is right now. Or we could just expand it down and take this bottom part with it as well. So uh, we might do that since right now they're just waiting for the trees to grow. And we kind of need the wood for a lot of things. I think we need the wood for a lot of things anyway. But uh, we filled up the robots. Almost filled up robots. So, and this one's been done. So that's very nice. What is the next thing we need in terms of, uh, of things? Science is going, so that is not a problem. We should probably craft ourselves... What is it called? The bucket, so we can get some sand. And is that just made in a normal crafting? Look how many crafting stations we have. Was the bucket made here? It wasn't, and we have all of these things being made somewhere, so we don't need you. Oops, here we go. What about in... that's about assembly. That's way in the future as well. It's probably not a chopping one. It's just in a good workbench then. Yeah, I want to make a crude bucket. That is what I'm trying to make. And the rest are not as important. I just need this one. So, can we fit in one more row in here? I think we can do without making any mistakes. So, what if we just do it like this, so they have like one row each? I don't want to do this, this is going to be too cramped, but we can do this, can't we? We do the same over here, so we have three rows of crafting. to here. Then we'll just need one robot. Luckily we can just go pick him up. I'll place you down right here. And you'll make buckets for us. Don't know how many we'll need, but you'll be bucket 
prod. And for that we needed, was it, four planks? You'll go here and pick up planks. And then, to stop, two, four. Start again, drop it off over here. Oh, I'm just, look how fast I am now. That is so awesome. Once the hands are empty. Until this one is full forever. But damn, we're fast. I should have made that uh, scooter a long time ago. So you'll go into our main... Oh, this. I think I read somewhere in the patch notes that they're going to turn this off. As you guys can probably guess, I'm recording quite a bit into the future. But uh, that is fine. So can, can we go pick up sand now? Let's just give it a try. We got sand somewhere. How do we... Let's see sand. And the reason why I'm looking for that is that we'll need it for uh, the next production. So we have sand in this bucket. Oh, then we just have to put it in, in like, what is this gonna be? A few minutes? Not a few minutes, about a minute. Then we'll add it to here and get the next parts that needed sand up and running. And we are so out of logs. These babies are taking up quite a few logs, so we have to expand our tree farm by a large margin. And I might just take it up here. There we go. That's bread, dough, flour, kitchen table, an oven, and a rotary. I think that's the one that grinds the wheat down to flour. So we can make bread or something like that. That is at least what I think it is. So, sand. Basic flooring. Oh, it's easy enough to do. So now we have sand. You can just place you here for now. And then, uh, what's called, mark out our tree farm. And too bad, it's going to be quite far back, it seems. Since this has just started in a new cell. With tr in between, in between. So let's just do it over here. Make a massive tree farm. Just have to make sure we do it the right place. And let's just get ourselves a robot to chop down all these trees first. I think that will be uh, the best solution. So let's get our little blueprints. You're gonna be copying the tree chopper. Just stop you for a little while. And then I want to copy your settings. go again and then we'll load that into our robots so let's move it over here there we are stop that pick up a new one place you down make you the tree chopper there we are tree chopper forever until the storage is full. But I just want to change the area to be over here. Because we want to get rid of all these trees. And let's call you all. So you can go into our all tab. There we are. And that means we can take tree collector and move you as well. Please go up here and collect the trees. It's going to be here in just a second. There we are. That's going to chop down all these trees. And then we can make a nice big farm over here. I think that's going to look very, very good. So while that is going, we can now see if we've made all the bots. That's going to save us some of wood as well. The rest are going to be delivered at a nice, steady pace. How about over here? 
seems we are hitting a few of them. Since that's kind of needed. Oh, what are you eating? Are you eating my... Uh, what? What are you eating? Go away, you stupid cow. Is it eating my... Uh, wheat or something like that? Go over here and eat this grass instead. Shoo. What? <laughs> I think it's so funny that it's eating the, uh, the crops. It is funny, but it's a bit annoying. And then it's... it's oh, oh, it's just eating the straw. Oh, that's fine, that's a good way to get rid of that. So that is... Oh, that's a good way to get rid of it. So that's actually fine to have too much straw anyway. So what can I... What can we do with a cow? I know it gives milk. Hey, Bale gives another cow. Milk. Um, that's milk. Bug cow gives milk, and milk is used for tier one food. So it's probably used together with something else somewhere. That's just water. Oh, it's quite easy to upgrade our food. Oh well, that is nice. So we'll just keep the cow going around here and eating all the straw. That is fine. Charger, and we are dropping a ton of trees up here. Get rid of all of it. So while it's doing that, let's mark out the area we're gonna need. Do we have enough for it in terms of uh, fences? I think we do. We will have to go up one more to here. I don't know how far we have to go. Somewhere like here. I should probably take a sign that can uh, that can show me. That might actually be a good way to use the sign. So let me just go get one. Oh, the whole, whole farm looks so uh, so destroyed and so sad. So let's just see how we plan this out. Please get that the air is linked, that is correct. There we are. And I probably should link the area to be honest. I think that will be better. Where did I go? Oh, I'm right here. Something like that. Then we can always see where it has to be put down. So right here, that means we have the corners just over here. Oh, this is a brilliant way to use the sign. That might actually be the best way I've done it so far. Because then we can remove a lot of these in here and just use it like this to, uh, to mark out. I kind of wonder if this is the correct way to use it, or at least a better way to use it. Because then we're quite close to having what we need here. So a tree farm would actually start up here and go right into the lake. <laughs> this lake, I'm telling you guys, they are placed perfectly to annoy me. So, uh, so yeah, that is just great. Let's see where should this one be. It should be right here. So you could start with just one, a one, two, three, four. Oh, it just be. No. It'll be over here and and crouch in this area. 
But that might be fine. I don't really mind the small amount of travel time. Shouldn't do us anything at all. We can always just throw more robots at it. But, uh, yeah. So one, two, three, four. Here. We could also just move this little butt construction down to uh, another cell. And then we'll have these four as our woods. I think actually that would be better. I'm quite sure it will. So let's just move our bot production somewhere else. Maybe over here. Let's just take a little sign and have a look. So we could be right here, a bot production. Yeah, let's let's do that. I think that will be the best solution. But unfortunately, we're just missing one. We can just craft one more. Let's charge this one. And then we'll do the entire bot production right there. And we should be able to move it without any issues. But we'll do that next episode. Um, in between episodes, I'll probably just cut down the last trees, so we're ready to do the move. I think that will be the best solution. But, as always, please like and subscribe and hit that bell button. And uh, then I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys.